your sacrum to the floor and your mid back to the floor. Your shoulder blades are still off the ground. Take your hands behind your head. Wrap your elbows forward, finding the connection of your shoulder blades into your back ribs. Now we'll start by curling in, in, in. Curl, curl, curl. Make sure the curl comes from the scoop of your belly, not by pulling the hands. The hands are just supporting the weight of your head. Scoop the belly down, feel the curl. In, in, in. It really helps to exhale as you curl Give it lots of power. Sometimes I think about a heavy bowling ball falling on my belly, like I'm bracing for that impact. Squeeze, it's a reaction of defense when you think of bracing in the core. It's a protective response, but it really gives you a good workout too if you can connect to that mentally, how to squeeze. In for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the head. Now we get to lift the legs. Straighten the legs here as much as you can. Now press your arms into the floor. We're gonna bring the legs apart and then together. Out and in. Out and in. The legs are tight, if your hamstrings are tight, you can bend the knees and still do a, a part in together. What's important is that your low back is not coming off the ground, okay? What I might tend to see happen here is they let, people will let this go. They let the belly go and the legs are doing all this work without the core. But you have to belly down, keep the grounding of the sacrum, and that's going to keep your core connected, okay? Be honest with yourselves, especially right now when we're doing classes virtually and no one's watching us. It's easy to quit or stop. Trust me, I know, I'm doing it too. So how can we keep ourselves accountable, right? We know that we need to work out, we need to move. This is the time we commit to ourselves. This is your time. Don't cheat yourself out of quality you time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Now we're going to bring the legs forward, circle together, and in. So the legs are straight, they're going to look like circles, out and around, and together. Yep. Now I like to do a little more external rotation through the legs. It keeps my hips a little more open, but you can do this with the knees bent. You're just moving from the hip socket. The hips are doing this movement. It's your core that's just stabilizing. It's using the slow twitch muscle, the TVA, transverse abdominis. That muscle is being used to stabilize and hold you while the legs move. We got four more that low back down and then switch direction circle the other way forward apart and together forward apart and together forward apart together good again the knees can be bent or legs can be straight
circles are as big as it feels good in the hips. If your hips are clicky, like mine are, then I do suggest doing smaller circles. And also externally rotating helps, but sometimes it's just how they, it's because there's tight muscles, that's part of why they click. Good, four more. Let's take a rest, bend the knees in, rock a little side to side. Great, now if you have your light weights, let's take those again. Take them overhead, tabletop the legs. Now you're gonna bend the elbows, the weights will frame your head. And then toe tap. Exhale, curl, arms up, knees up. Inhale, bend. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, <laughs> inhale down. Now if you notice that your low back is coming up, then you might need to go one leg at a time. You might also need to skip the weights in the arms because sometimes adding the arms takes away from the other exercise. So if you really need to get proper alignment through your spine to do the core properly, then just omit the arms, okay? Again, being patient. Being patient with our progress, with our fitness, with our abilities. We're working with the best that we can. That's what's important. That you're here and you're doing it. You're doing class. Okay, four more, four, three, two, and one. Now take your hands to your chest, rock and roll up and down, coming up to boat pose. Your feet can be down or your feet can be off the floor. It's your choice, okay? Lift up and then twist towards the right center left, center, twist, twist, rotate from the ribs, rotate from the ribs. Think about growing tall from the front of your spine, behind the waistband, up through your sternum, your breastbone. Everybody, take your feet off the floor and then hands in front of your elbows. Curl, curl. Good, this is to challenge your core. Just hold your boat, that's all you're doing. We're not rocking the boat yet. We're holding the boat. Keep the knees up, suction the belly up, bringing the thighs closer to your ribs. Lift the ribs up away from the hips. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, keep that core engaged. Two, and one, hands to heart, find low boat, low back down, shoulder blades off the ground. Reach forward and swim the legs, up and down, up and down. Good, the low back stays on the ground. And now scissor kick, open, close, open, close. Cross, cross, cross. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, take the arms back, weights down. Full body stretch. And then roll onto your belly. on your belly, hands behind your head. What I want is for you to use your neck by pressing the head back into your hands. 
pull the elbows apart, press the back of the head up, and it, have a little tuck of your chin, like you're holding a peach with your chin to your chest. Push into the tops of your feet, lift the head and the chest. Good. Remember that tuck of your chin. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Down and up. Down and up. Strengthening through your back. We worked our core, we gotta work our back too. Mm -hmm. Four more. Four, three, two, hold it up on one. Legs come up, swim the legs up and down, up and down. Push into the pubic bone, bring it closer to the navel, and then kick the legs. So, scissor kick, open, close, open, close. Switch the ankle on top. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Ah, beautiful work. Let's stretch the thighs. Bend one knee. Grab your foot with your hands. Pull it in. And press your pubic bone into the floor. Good, switch legs, bend the other knee. Take a hold of your foot as you pull it to your hip. Push your pubic bone down to feel a deeper stretch. And release. Make your way up to seated. Cross your ankles. Inhale, reach the arms up. Twisting to the left, exhale, look over your shoulder, inhale, grow tall, and twist a little deeper. Inhale, center, arms up, exhale, twist to the right, look over your shoulder, inhale, grow taller, twist deeper, inhale, center, arms up, exhale, hands to your heart. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Please remember to be patient as we are going through all of this together. Have a beautiful day.